at first I didn't have chest pain and that, but it, when it got more serious, then I decided that I better get to the hospital, have it at least checked out because there was something wrong. They put me on a table, started checking me out, and kept talking to me, and before you knew it, I was having a heart attack in the ER. Then I got the ride in the helicopter to UW in Madison, where they found that I had an artery completely blocked. They put in two stints and it all happened in a matter of a couple hours. Diabetes is seen differently than many other diseases. Um, it's fairly common. It doesn't hurt. When you have diabetes, it increases your risk of a heart attack at least two to three fold. The heart attack for Ken was his motivator. And he had a son who had significant difficulties with diabetes. So he's seen the struggles. He's lived through it, not only his own life, but with his son's life too. People actually deny it up in their head. They deny it and say, no, it can't happen to me. William had a hard time following the food part of it, about eating the right stuff, about taking the insulin at the right time, and he was damaging too many of his organs. You don't expect the call. I mean, you don't anticipate the call, but I knew someday there would be a call. It, 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 the diabetes just took them. That's, it won the battle. Diabetes is high blood sugar. And it's a big deal not just because the sugar level is high itself. Uh, it's more to do with the downstream consequences, uh, which are complications including uh, kidney disease, blindness, heart disease, um, vascular disease, limb amputations, and death. It's the seventh leading cause of death in the U.S. Ken's been my patient for a number of years. He has type 2 diabetes. That's the type that's associated with being overweight and a too high of a carbohydrate diet, basically. He was in kind of fair to poor control when I met him. At one point it was really not so good. With my diabetes, we were doing pretty good until I injured, injured one of my legs and couldn't walk my two or three miles a day. Then I started putting weight back on and it wasn't until I made the trip to Madison to the UW that I realized that you got a second chance, now do something about it. Diabetes, it's a daily constant disease that you have to deal with and it's easy to get off track. You know, you go on a vacation and you start eating different and you get back home and you don't do, you don't get back in that good routine, you get back into that old habit that kind of led you to the higher weight, um, sedentary lifestyle. What I, I find really truly amazing about Ken is while he was in the hospital after he had a stent placed, he was already planning his recovery period. His choices after that heart attack are, are truly, truly amazing. I mean, he took those first steps of wanting to get back on track to change his lifestyle because he knew at that point, I want to live this life and I want to have a good life. They got me eating really good and I'm off my insulin already that the UW put me on and I'm just on a pill 
and my sugars are really good and I want to keep it that way. You know, Ken is over 70 and he has managed to turn around type 2 diabetes through diet and exercise. Um, and I think if he can do it, who can't do it? You know, at his age he can do it. Good for him. He didn't come into this journey with, with any fewer barriers or any more ease than anybody else has. I think that's why Ken is such an inspiration because his life wasn't easier than anybody else with this diabetes and he has done amazingly well. So Ken, I'm very proud of you. I'm happy with, with the progress I've made and yeah, there's hope. There's hope if you can just do what you're supposed to do and uh, don't give up, don't give up.